What's going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be doing a full comparison between Claude Opus and GPT-40. So essentially what I'll be doing, I'll be using the same prompts, the same methods to write the same article, and then I'll be comparing the output quality. So the prompt in which I'm using here is my low AI SEO prompts. As you can see, I tell the AI to write following a specific set of instructions to write more human-like, and then I also tell it to write in an SEO specific style to write SEO optimized content. This prompt is going to be in the description below today's video. Once you enter your email, I'll send you over these prompts for completely free. So I am using, as I mentioned earlier, GPT-40 and Claude Opus, which is the best models currently out from OpenAI and Anthropic. So what I did was I first went ahead and generated our outline. So if you take a look at the prompts, this is going to be your system prompt which writes in low AI and also writes in SEO optimized format. And then below that is going to be our prompt for the outline. And that's the prompt in which we use to generate the outline. So I am writing about a specific topic for my niche, but if you wanted to do topic research, I want you guys to check out WriterZen. This is a um, tool that is currently on a lifetime deal on AppSumo. I've done a couple of reviews on WriterZen, so if you want to check that out, I will link those in the description below today's video. But essentially, WriterZen is going to be a suite of tools which allows you to do keyword research. So you can do topic discovery by entering keywords and then finding related keywords. And you can also do specific keyword research like a um, traditional keyword tool like Ahrefs. You can see difficulty metrics, you can see search volume metrics and whatnot. It's a really good tool and they also have a content optimization feature. So it allows you to not just only do research, but then you can optimize your content like you would do so um, like on a tool like a new writer. So you can do keyword research, you can um, find topical authority, and then you can also go ahead and um, optimize that content. So it's a really, really solid tool. It is currently back on lifetime deals. So you don't ha wouldn't have to pay monthly. If you want to check this out, I will leave a link for writers then in the description below today's video. But let's continue. So once I generated the outline, then I used the prompt to generate the full article. But actually what I did was before that, I went over to, I Googled the keyword. So the keyword in which I'm trying to rank for is how to get a mortgage in Canada if you are a newcomer from India. So what I did was I Googled that specific topic and then I opened up some of the top ranked blog posts. So for example, True North Mortgage, and I use a tool called Harpa AI and you can access Harpa AI by hitting control A. And I'm using chat to GPT-40 and I asked to extract the main outlines from this article. And then once it is extracted the outline, I then took that um, outline and I prompted it to OpenAI and to Anthropic to take this outline and combine it with the outline that it created. This allows for us to create a much more um, comprehensive outline. And it also allows for us to create an outline that is following the, the sort of the the format of the top ranked blog post because we generated our own outline using um, OpenAI or Anthropic, but then we combine that outline with another outline. And you can do that for as many outlines as you like. That really allows you to be very comprehensive in your outline, which just then allows you to write a much more detailed um, article. So once I combine the two outlines, then I use my prompt to generate the full article. And what I did was I also use Neuron Writer. So I went over to Neuron Writer, and this is also a content optimization tool that has a lifetime deal on AppSumo if you want to check it out. And I searched up my keyword, which is how to get a mortgage in Canada if you're a newcomer. And then what I did was I copied over all of the terms. So all of the terms in which we need to include within the H1 and throughout the article, I copied over those terms. And then I told the AI when writing, also include these terms naturally throughout the article. And I did the same thing, as you can see here, I did the same thing for um, Claude as I did in OpenAI or using GPT-4. So once I did that, then I went ahead and generated the full article. And this is what the first um, draft looks like. So let's go ahead and copy over the article that we get back from OpenAI or using GPT-4.0. Okay, so how to get a mortgage in Canada if you are a newcomer from India. Introduction, can newcomers buy a home? We get a nice little table there, some lists, more lists, some information, 
and a conclusion. And we also get some additional research, uh, resources here, which we will double check to make sure that those articles, I'm um, sorry, those links do work. So this is a decent output. I don't like when it writes content and only adds in about one or two lines, especially at the bottom here, when it's talking about, you know, sort of big topics, I would like it to be a little bit more in depth. So this again is GPT-4. And now we're going to do the same thing for the content that we got back from Claude. So the article from GPT-4.0 was about 1400 words. And this article is already a lot longer uh, from Claude, Opus. So from Opus, this is the content which we get back. How to get a mortgage in Canada. If you are a newcomer, can newcomers from India buy a home? And then we get a nice link there. We get some data. We get some tips. We get some incentives and a conclusion. Just by taking a look at this in terms of the length and just how complete the article looks like, I would have to go with Claude Opus just in terms of just looking at it from an objective point of view. Um, I've written a lot of content. It's very easy for me to really see which content kind of stands out quickly. Obviously, I would recommend you going through and reading through each of these articles. So let's go ahead and paste this in there. So as you can see here, we get a pretty decent article from both of these tools. I would definitely recommend um, Claude Opus in this example over GPT-4.0. I just feel like we're able to get a much more complete article. It doesn't seem as though at some sections we have a lot of content and at other sections we don't, especially when I look at the and compare it to the content that we got back from GPT-4.0. Now, if we actually go ahead and expand this article, then I would say that this is going to be more of a complete article and we would probably get a lot more words but just from where the article is right now i would say that um cloud opus did a much much better job at writing that content so let's go ahead and click on these links make sure they work okay so that one does work yep so it looks like both of these tools are pretty good now at including links and they do not include broken links which always is very helpful I would say just from this example, I would go with Opus, but of course you want to go ahead and try writing content for your own unique niches because it may differ based upon your niche. In terms of AI detection, Claude Opus is 100% AI, but even though we are using our low AI prompts, I do find that the content is much more readable. It seems more human-like, but we still are not able to bypass originality.ai. But again, this is not something that I would focus on too much because I'm able to rank AI content all of the time. And that's the same case for the article that we go back from GPT-4.0. Both of these articles are 100% AI written. So now let's go ahead and check the SEO score. So first, let's go ahead and paste in the article that we got back from Claude Opus. We're going to add a title. We're going to use the AI generate feature to generate a title and a meta description because it does a pretty good job. Okay, so just from pasting in the content that we got back from Claude Opus, we get a 60, which is not bad by any means. It is the highest content optimization score based upon the top ranked blog posts, according to Neuron Writer. So this is Opus. So we get a score of 60 from Opus, which is pretty good. So now let's go ahead and do the same thing for the article that we get back from GPT-4.0. Interestingly enough, the article that we get back from GPT-4.0 is actually more SEO optimized compared to the article that we got back from Claude Opus. So this is again, GPT-4.0. And it is a 65 content optimization score compared to um, 60 that we got back from Claude Opus. So I was expecting Opus to do better in terms of content optimization, but it seems as though GPT-4.0 actually did better in this specific example. So I'm impressed by that, but of course you would want to go ahead and make sure you're testing this out for your own niche to see which one of these tools writes better content for your specific niche. So in terms of originality score, both of them were 100% AI detected. In terms of SEO score, GPT-4.0 was a little bit better at giving us a score of 65 out of 100 compared to 60 out of 100 from um, Cloud Opus. In terms of readability, we get a score of grade 8, which is actually really good from GPT-4.0. So it is very, very readable. Um, I think that has to do with the prompts that we use to write in a human-like manner. And again, surprisingly enough, we get a score of grade 11 in terms of readability from Opus. So Opus is actually less readable compared to GPT-4.0. So this is very, very interesting because usually in my testing, GPT-4 usually doesn't do as well when it comes to readability compared to Opus. But again, in this example, we see that GPT-4.0 is actually able to do much better 
uh, for this specific example in terms of readability. So there's a couple of pros and cons between using both of these tools. On one hand, Claude Opus is really good at writing in-depth articles with data points, making it more up to date and just really writing in the essence of the article and answering the, the queries within the article much better especially when you're just writing the first article and not expanding it compared to gpt 4 o But as we can see here, gpt 4 o is able to follow instructions a little bit better. Uh, we're able to get a much better readability score and also we're able to get a much better SEO score. So from this test, you can conclude that if you want to focus on readability and you want to focus on SEO, then maybe using gpt 4 o may be better. But if you want to really focus on the quality of your articles and information in your articles, then Cloud Opus may be a better option for you. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick comparison. I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up. And of course, if you want to try out my free AI writing tool, it's called wordrocket.ai. You can use it for completely free by entering your API key. We are working on integrating Cloud Opus and GPT-40. But right now we have some pretty good um, content quality. So you can try it out for yourselves. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next video.